Three, two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation? I'm the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Sunday, May the 28th, and it is an awesome day outside. And it'd be an awesome day to take a walk. So later on, me and Bud, we're gonna go for a walk. But hopefully it won't get too hot though. <laughs> But today we're going to do some kundalini yoga exercises for the lower back, spine, shoulders, and hips. Remember to check out these videos because they're all slightly different. Some of the exercises I do, I have similar exercises in some of the videos, but I do them slightly in slightly uh, different ways and, and with slightly different exercises as well. So it's important that you check out all these uh, videos and check out these exercises that are really good for you. And they're very good for strengthening, stretching, increasing flexibility, and improved mood, and all that other good stuff, huh, bud? So without further ado, I will demonstrate these exercises, and bud, you can spot me from the other room, and er, you can have some water, too, because I just poured him some water. <laughs> and I will demonstrate these exercises. Yum, boom. Good. Today, I'm not even going to use a mat. Alright. Well, I got the run. So, so it's not like I'm... So I think my, my legs are getting stronger and whatnot. Alright, so we'll begin. Take three deep breaths. And we'll start by saying the mantra three times. Um, namu Guru De Namu. Um, namu Guru De Namu. Um, So for today, I'm going to begin doing the exercise. Um, do my first exercise. I will do it standing. You can do this one sitting as well, but if you feel that you can also do it standing, it's uh, the windmill exercise basically. I'm going to start my arms out to my side, and we'll do this for about a minute. And you want to make circular motions. Inhale as you're coming up. Exhale as you bring your arms down. Do this for about a minute. Make those circles nice and, and wide. about a minute or so it felt really great next exercise I'm going to do seated and it is great for the abdominals and we'll do this for about a minute or so basically you want to sit on the floor put your feet out in front of you you can bend your knees slightly try to bring your hands as close to your feet as possible and then come and bring your body back down inhaling exhaling as you're coming up And this you want to do for about a minute.
All right, that was about a minute or so. Do that between one to three minutes. Very good exercise for the back, the abdominals, hamstrings. Next exercise, basically this, we'll start with, with, a, with a pose. Take a couple deep breaths. You want to arch, you want to kneel in this position here. You want to arch your, your back slightly for about 30 seconds. And this is a great pose to be in. What this does, it arches your spine a little bit and it really relaxes that lower back shoulder area, releases a ton of tension in that, the, 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 air, the muscles in your upper back and your spine. You want to take deep breaths in this position. Just being in the disposition is very good, very good for the, the back and the, and the spine. Next, we're going to do some uh, leg kicks. We're going to bring the, the foot out. Exhale as you're bringing the foot out. Inhale as you're coming in. Do this for about 13 reps. Next, we'll do the other foot. Very good exercise for the glute and the lower back. Next, we'll turn around. And basically, we'll do like a crab pose or a tabletop. Basically, you want to press your body up with your hands and your feet and just hold this position for about a minute, doing the breath of fire. And try to bring your hips up as, as high as you comfortably can. Great. This is a great exercise. Stretches the shoulders, the back, the hips. Next, turn around. This is a great time to do the, to basically you're sitting, sitting up straight on your, your knees. Great stretch for your quadriceps. And this is a good pose you want to sit for for about 30 to 60 seconds. Just sitting in this position, you're stretching your quadriceps, the front part of the muscles in the front of your shins. You want to arch your back slightly, stretch your lower back. Stretches the muscles around your knees. So it just really helps to increase flexibility in your legs. If you can sit in this position for about 30 seconds to 60 seconds. stretching my quadriceps and for the final exercise we'll do today we're going to do a quarter squat or 
or even if, if you can't even, if you can't manage to do a quarter squat, just squat down as far as you comfortably can. You want to start um, inter interlace your fingers and place them on the top of your head, and you want to squat down as far as you comfortably can, and then come back up. Again, arch your back slightly as you're doing this exercise. Inhale as you bring your body down, exhale as you're coming up. And as you notice, as I was getting into the exercise, I was able to squat deeper and deeper as I was in, uh, increasing my repetitions during the exercise. And this routine, I'll do this routine maybe two or three more times. So this is an excellent workout. And to go through this, these exercises two or three times might take you 20 or 30 minutes, maybe 20, depending on your fitness level, it takes me about 20 minutes. Really good workout. You got to give it a try. And remember, if you like these videos, remember to subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Remember to keep training, keep taking those walks, and have an awesome day. All right, everybody. Peace out.